Hello, good afternoon, or good evening. It's Rat1, Rat1 again. You know, of course we, well, I feel like I'm on my own with this, but it's deadly accurate. I don't need any pat on the backs or anything. It's just, you know, show thyself approved, so your book says. And this is Pharaoh... Nick Tanibo. And the claim say is he is the real father of Alexander the Great. No, you're not going to believe. Well, I got to show myself approved. He was just, he was the last pharaoh in the Egyptian dynasty that's related to, you know, the whole thing. The last one before the white people took over. The last one. And a few pictures depicted here of him, if you can see. He got a big nose. I don't know. He looks like a nigga to you. Let's see here. Yeah, of course, they chop it off, right? So it's obvious. Nick Tanebo, the second. The second. And we're just going to go into it. What does Wiki have to say? Nick Tanebo II was the third to last pharaoh of the 30th dynasty of Egypt. As well as the last native ruler of ancient Egypt. Uncle, under Nick Tanebo II, Egypt prospered during his reign. An Egyptian artist delivered a specific style that left a distinctive mark on the reliefs of the Potomac Kingdom. Like his indirect prede predecessor, Nicanibal I, Nicanibal II showed enthusiasm for many of his cults of the gods within ancient Egypt religion. More than a hundred Egyptian sites bear evidence of his attentions. Nicanibal II, however, undertook more constructions and restorations than Nicanibal I, commencing his particular and enormous Egyptian temple of Isis. Well, his little background check. Now. Let's go into. Hold on a second. The counters. Of the Gingo. You know. Now what that is Is a place of sexual pleasure That was made by Isis And you know what After doing research And showing that self approved She's not evil or so much of a bitch She's just trying to have land Just like everybody else More than 2500 years Thousand years of epic the search of immortality by Gilgamesh, another legendary king, Alexander of Macedonia, emulated the Sumerian king and Egyptian pharaohs in the very same arena. In his case, to claim the claim of immortality to the base of being partly divine. The evidence suggests that Alexander, through his teacher Aristotle, was aware of the earlier searches. But what he probably did not know was the root of his specific claim to divine parentage lay in the Erx Gipar, nighttime house, in the inner sanctum, the Gignu, the Gignu. Soon after Alexander was crowned king of Macedonia in the lieu of the, assassin of the assassination of Philip II, he was in Adelphia, Delphi in Greek to consult its famed oracle. Only 20 years old at the time, he was shocked to hear the first of several prophecies predicting his fame, but very short life. His prophecies served to increase his beliefs and rumors that had been circling in Macedonia court, according to which Philip II was not really his father, but was really the son of Egyptian pharaoh named Nicnebos. 
who has visited the Macedonian court and secretly seduced Olympias, his mother. And Nicodemus, a master magician and diviner, so the whispering went. In fact, the Egyptian god is in fact the Egyptian god Amun, who disguised himself as the man in order to say the future say the future conqueror of the world all right so everybody well everybody knows that his mother kept saying that philip is not really your father once again like lamech is not really the father these deities do what they want to do they shove their toolies in anybody they feel like i don't know what part of that you don't understand it can happen now so we go into other scholars or whatnot. And you have one by Joshua J. Mark, you know, going through the background of Alexander. He was the son of Philip Macedonia of Macedonia II, supposedly, and become and upon his father's death in 336 BCE, he went to conquer most of the known world today. He is great in both his military genius and his diplomatic skills in handling the various populous of regions he conquered. And his further recognition of spreading Greek culture, language, thought from Greece and Asia, minor, Egypt, Mesopotamia, India, and thus initiating the era of Hellenistic world. 